here is Baby Yoda in his new Jedi robe. I guess it could be a Sith robe. Oh, looks like I forgot to pull the sleeves. The sleeve down all the way. Anyhow, it's hard to see the color. It's dark against this wood floor, but this is black fleece. It's actually a really cheap fleece blanket that I bought and used it as fabric because it was about the price of some really cheap fabric and anyway yeah it's pretty good I still messed up this hem I'm gonna have to figure out what to do about that because it's like a broken hem here the hood ends and then this hem is a different size because I just used the same front piece and back piece for the body part and then when I cut it in half I don't want to hem it in too much because then there won't be anything left in the front whereas the hood had a lot of extra for the hem I don't know I'm gonna have to figure that out but anyway, that's that, and you can also, what did I do with it? Yeah, you can also pin it with this, and pin it closed. There you can see it's pinned with the mythosaur. I think this would look better in silver, so I could paint that or print it in silver. And then the back, I did fix it from the last version, so now this does hang a bit lower. You really can't see it in this light, but yeah, see it hangs down lower like a proper Jedi hood, whereas on this one, the prototype I had made before, um, well, you can't see on here, but it didn't hang down. It kind of just was came up like a pointy elf hat. So it's better when the back of the hood hangs down. That's just a little tip if you're making a Jedi hood. This is the Jedi cloak with the hood down. So he looks, you can't really tell. He looks kind of Harry Potterish in real life. It's almost like wizard robes. Or a cute little coat. Like a little wool coat. And I think in the future I'd make this a little bit longer. Actually, I had not looked at the back of it. And it is really, the hood is just so big compared to the outfit. So I might have to do something about that. That is really quite large. That is just silly. Yeah, I think I could bring it in a little bit. Well, when it is pinned in the front, the hood isn't too bad. I think it's just when it's open in the front that the hood comes way out to the side. And we'll see if there's anything to be done about that. And this is what he had underneath, which is a kind of a tunic. Um, but I added a button to it since last time, which I like. It makes it sort of like a little nightshirt. I don't know why the sleeve is looking so poofy right now. It's really not. It is maybe a bit, maybe these are a bit poofy. And that was an element uh, if you're going to put the cloak over it, you don't want these sleeves to be too wide and puffy because the cloak sleeves should be wider. And I think in this case, these sleeves are actually wider, so it w was kind of pulling a bit when I put these sleeves through these sleeves. And this is the pattern that I used for the cloak which I showed in another video. But this is a new draft of it. It's basically the same. 
but I had mentioned that this armhole shape was not quite right. So I flattened it a bit. It used to curve in a lot. And then I added this little tab here. I mean, I'm not, I won't get into it, but every time I make it, I try to fix any little problems. And this did work out better. This is the sleeve, which is basically the same. Um, but I had to match the curve then to this curve. And yeah, I thought snipping this bit out here would help. I was getting a lot of uh, traffic jam from seam allowances coming in from three sides and these corners here under the arms. So I'm just trying to figure out how uh, to eliminate some of that bulk of the fabric down there. I'm sure I could look it up online, but whatever. And this was the hood which I showed in another video. This is basically the same hood, except like I said before, I wanted it to be baggier in the back. And before uh, the seam came in, and so now I just have it come straight down. It's almost a rectangle, except I did bring it down a little in the back. Otherwise, it was a really pointy like elf top. I mean, not at the top, but kind of going back and up into a point. So I brought that down a bit, and I guess that's about it. I think the collar is too wide now. It used to be at an angle and end here. I mean, I thought I adjusted for it, but now this was way too long. Like, I hit the end of the collar about here, and so I had a flap. I had to fold it back a lot for the hem. Anyway, whatever. I will do a little bit of tweaking for the next attempt. Alright, Benny time. Good night.